Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is actually a very exciting video. Well, exciting for me, hopefully for you guys as well. But my husband and I finally started redecorating the living room. I've been itching to do this since we moved in. I know I've talked about it to you guys like videos and videos ago. I don't even know how long ago. It's been months now and we've just been putting it off because other things have come up. We've just been crazy busy. We have not had the time to even start it and that's all we've done. We've just started it. It's a work in progress right now. Now I'm filming this after we've done everything that we're going to do for now in the living room just because that's the way my life worked out. We were recording late at night after Atlas went to bed. We're like, okay, this is when we're gonna paint, this is when we're gonna wallpaper, because we did do some wallpaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert footage for you guys of everything that we did. So, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of jump into that. That way you guys can see. And I'll do like a little voiceover, talk you through kind of my thought process and everything that we did so far. And then once we're done with that, I'll take you guys on a little tour, mini tour. I mean, it's not really a tour, but just show you the final product and where we are right now and what my plans are for after that. So let's go ahead and get into the makeover. All right. So here we can see the beforehand of what it looked like. It wasn't terrible, but it's not ideal. I wanted more life than what it's giving right now. That yellow creamy color, I just don't like it. So I could not wait to get some real color on these walls and make it a little bit more personable of a room. So here we are cutting in all of that paint. I used to tape and then I realized, honestly, it takes so much longer to tape everything up and then cut in and you still have to be careful anyway. So I just cut in without taping anymore because I was over it. I feel like it's such a waste too. I obviously also recruited my husband because you know, getting along this ceiling is a lot more difficult for me than for him. I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on, put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. all gone. Love this color. At first, of course, I feel like with all pink colors, you sit there and you're like, what did I do? Do I absolutely regret this? <laughs> or was this the right choice? But it ended up being the right choice. I love the color. Also, obviously you can tell the lighting's pretty rough. I should mention that sooner, but that's because we were filming at night. We had to wait until after my husband got home from work and then till after Atlas went to bed. It just, toddlers and paint don't mix very well. So obviously he did the first coat on this wall and then I took a turn and did this wall because he hadn't even showered or anything after getting home from work. So I was like, why don't you go do that? It's getting late, I'll do this coat. It's not that hard, it's just the one wall. It's the smaller wall, so. And honestly, I love painting. I love to roll on paint. It's my absolute favorite. Hold on, put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. This is actually a couple nights later. So the first night we did the first coat of paint. Second night we did second coat of paint. And then this is the third night and we started on the wallpaper. I'm also painting the trim in the background where you can't see me because it was rough. But this is him putting this wallpaper up. And honestly, you would think this man was a professional. <laughs> I could not believe how well he did. I mean, I could believe it because he's very good with stuff like this, but he's never wallpapered before. I sent him one 15 minute video that I found on YouTube, which I will link below because honestly, it was so helpful for both of us to have it and to be able to watch it and have like a game plan. But he got this put up like very well. And also you can't tell with the lighting again, sorry that it's so bad, but we're working with what we got. But the color of the wallpaper is like a deep green. 
with like a little bit of a blue tinge to it. Oh, you can see here us uh, struggling to line up. There's a pattern to it. It's like a snake skin kind of raised pattern, which I'll show you a close up of so that you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, he was very meticulous about getting that pattern lined up perfectly. So that took a hot minute. And we realized that that piece was upside down. But anyway, the color is just perfect. Exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything too crazy of a pattern, but I wanted something. I wanted it to be pretty bold, a nice statement, but not too much of a statement, if that makes sense. Then you can see here, us cutting around all of these outlets was just so tedious. <laughs> this is the wall that we mount the TV on and like our modems on this wall. So there were so many outlets and things to cut around. This was the most difficult piece. But the feeling is all gone. And I don't know how, but I managed to only get these first three pieces recorded of us putting them up, which I feel stupid about, but it was a late night. We didn't go to bed until I think 2 a.m. that night. So it was, it was a long night for us, but you'll see the end result of all the pieces on the wall and how beautiful it looks now, because I am obsessed. So is my husband. Oh, and then here I'm showing you guys the before of the molding and on the one window, but most of the moldings in this room were pretty rough. I don't know what they did, but they really went at it. I think there's furniture or something up against this molding, so definitely needed to be painted. That was the whole process of us getting everything done in the living room. I did get a rug for the living room as well, which I'll show you. We rolled it out at a random moment one time. I didn't grab the camera. I should have, but I didn't. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys out to the living room so you can see what the, for now, finished product looks like. All right, so, uh, I, I'm loving it. I know the lighting's a little crazy because I have the windows open so that it's a little bit better lighting, but I'm gonna flip this camera around so I can really show you guys how it looks. So here we are. Like I said, the lighting's a little crazy with the windows and there's not really much I can do about that, but this is what we're looking at right now. And I am ignore, okay, let me start off actually. Ignore the mess of things that are just random. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's a work in progress right now. I haven't decided exactly where I'm putting everything. This shelf for sure is going. Don't know where yet, cause the rest of the house is pretty full, but that's definitely going. And then I might actually be getting rid of one of these side tables because I really like the couch oriented against this wall as opposed to it was over here but it just flows so much nicer. It feels so much bigger. I just like it so much better like that. But it's a little cluttered, a little clunky with the side tables. So I might get rid of both of them or just one of them. And I may end up moving things around as well. But then we have oh, my favorite part of the room, this wall. I just absolutely, I'm obsessed with this. So again, this is probably gonna go at some point. I don't know if this lamp is gonna stay here, but it does look really nice in that corner. I do also love my vase here. I feel like that floral arrangement looks perfect there. I just love it. And then we got a little toy basket. I bought that for Alice's toys so we can keep them out here and they're not so cluttered and crazy in the room, but I'm just loving it. I love my record player here and little TV stand underneath. And then I'm gonna show you up close. If you can see the texture on this wallpaper, like I said, it's like a snake skin and even the camera is not doing it justice. Let's see if I can, mm, that's a little, mm, not really. It's the lighting is just crazy and the camera's not picking it up, but this is much more green than it comes across on camera, but it's still nice and muted. I was thinking of doing something with a print and a pattern to it, but I just, didn't want to do too crazy and too in your face. And I feel like this is just subtle enough. And I love it's actually textured. It's not like it's printed on there. It just feels very elevated to me. I don't know. I just, oh, I just love it. Like literally sitting in this living room, looking at this TV makes me so happy because I get to stare at this wall. Hopefully one day we will have our bookshelf coming down here and across the top, but we'll see. 
is not our forever home. This is kind of a stepping stone kind of a home. So I don't want to go too, too crazy. But if it stayed just like this, I'd be happy. If we could do the bookshelf, that would be amazing too. Then I wanted to show you the other thing is this rug. I freaking love this rug. It is beautiful. Not what I was planning on, but it does exactly what I wanted it to do because I wanted to keep this throw blanket. I love it tucked around the couch because honestly with a toddler, it catches a lot and keeps the couch from getting completely trashed. So I wanted to keep the rust colored blanket and somehow draw it in with the rug. But then I have the green on the wall. So I'm like, how am I going to do this? This rug does it perfectly. I love that it's got all of the creams. I love the style of it. And then if you look closely, you can see we've got like a bluish green and like gray in here. And it just pulls everything together, I think, perfectly. I just, oh, I know I keep saying it. I keep saying the same thing and I'm sorry. But I do, I really love it. I just think it looks so good. Ugh. But like I said, getting rid of all of this. I do have curtains that I've ordered. Sorry, I figured to put you guys down. My arm was getting tired and I wanted to explain more. But, oh, let me real quick though. I wanted to show you guys the trim and how much better that looks. Let me do that before I forget. Obviously you guys saw that real quick. Wanted to give it a nice coat of paint, kind of make it look a little bit nicer. I didn't patch any of the holes or anything because I was not that invested. I just wanted to make it look better. I am very, very happy with it. Very excited to continue on with decorating. Like I was saying, I did order some curtains. I actually bought curtains from JCPenney, but I got them home. They were way too white. They were like stark white and I just needs to be more of a creamy color. I think it's, I just wanna go simple, creamy, but I am getting really tall curtains. So I have some ordered that hopefully will work. They should be here at some point today, but I think it's gonna be like way later today. I don't know when they're coming. So hopefully those will work and be exactly what I want because they're really long curtains. They're longer than technically what I need because I want to mount them up like at the ceiling, kind of do like floor to ceiling drapes. I just think would look so nice and elevate the room even more. And also, obviously I went a little crazy with color, but I just am so sick of boring. I did boring in the last house. My decor and like furniture and everything was just sad beige. And I know that's like the new term these days to refer to it, but I was on the sad beige train and I have since jumped off. I am over it completely. I want color, I want life, I want different and unique and I would rather even err on the side of it that's kind of ugly but it's unique than well it's trendy but it's boring you know does that make sense hopefully that makes sense but I'm very happy with where we have it now so like I said gonna get the drapes I keep saying drapes it sounds dramatic curtains not that fancy very affordable from Walmart so we'll see how they turn out but I'm not like too too concerned with the quality I just want them to for decoration. They're not gonna be like used every day because we have blinds. And then along this wall, I do have like a lot of artwork that I wanna put up here. You've probably seen in the background of my videos, the gallery wall that I have on this wall. I love all the pictures in those frames, but I think they're not gonna work with this room. They're much more along the lines of the sad beige thing that I was going for. And they're just, I don't know, lighter and pinks and not at all the feel of this room. I wanna get more like kind of vintage art kind of a feel. I've been looking on Etsy. I might buy some digital downloads. My favorite way to do a gallery wall. Buy digital downloads and then get them printed and put them in the frames that I have now. I think the frames will work. I think they'll be fine. I could always paint them if I really need to, but I don't think I will. I think it'll balance things out, especially if I have darker, moodier pictures in there. I'm also thinking I might put it like in this corner on this wall here and then on this wall here and do like a corner gallery wall. I've seen that and it looks really good, but I might not have the right frames for it, like the right sizes and everything. I'll have to play around with it and see, but I would love to do that in the corner and then I have this beautiful mirror that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. That up. So I have like some decor pieces and different things and like final touches I wanted to do, but I know I'm not getting to it in this video. So I figured I'd show you what we did now, where we're at, how happy I am with it. I, my, my husband and I both 
just love it. Like we've been sitting in the living room later at night than normal and just like staring at the living room. We're like, we love this. It's, mm, it just feels homey and it's definitely moody, has like a nice moodiness to it. And I even told my husband, I was like, wait until the fall and winter time and like Christmas, how amazing is it gonna feel? And he's like, oh, I can't wait. He's like, it's gonna be perfect. It's, oh. We're both very excited. We're both very, very, very happy, which is amazing when you put in that much work to have it turn out to be exactly what you want. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna obviously take you guys along for the rest of it. I may not be doing a full like second makeover video. It might just be kind of in vlogs as stuff comes in and shows up and whatever and I make decisions, I'll just bring you along for me. Putting art pieces on the wall and hanging the curtains and that kind of stuff, I don't think I'll do a full like dedicated part two just because that would take really long and I don't want to drag this out for too long for you guys so as things come and I get stuff and we get things done I'll update you and let you know hopefully you guys like it as much as I do but even if you don't that's okay because I absolutely love it and that's really all that matters at this point because I live here so <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the video watching us getting everything painted and getting that wallpaper up and the final product of course if you do like this video and enjoyed it like comment subscribe ring the bell do all the things and i will see you guys in my next video take me Bye. back where i belong i want it all i had a feeling but the feeling is all gone wait hold on put me together take me back where i belong i want it all I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.